technology that combine physics, chemistry, and engineering to quickly and efficiently cook food. While most people use them daily without much thought, the science behind how they work is incredibly detailed and rich with complexity. The key to understanding microwave ovens lies in how they generate microwaves, how these microwaves interact with food, and how energy is transferred to produce heat. At the heart of a microwave oven is a device called a magnetron. The magnetron is responsible for generating the microwaves that heat and cook your food. It operates by converting electrical energy into microwave radiation, which is a form of electromagnetic energy. Specifically, microwaves fall within the electromagnetic spectrum at a frequency of about 2.45 gigahertz, which is just below infrared radiation. This frequency is significant because it corresponds with the natural resonant frequency of water molecules. Water is present in almost all foods to some degree, and this is a crucial factor in how microwave ovens cook food so effectively. Let's first break down how the magnetron generates microwaves. Inside the magnetron, there's a cathode, which is a heated filament that releases electrons when energized. These electrons are accelerated the anode, a uh, positively charged structure surrounding the cathode. In the presence of a strong magnetic field, the movement of these electrons is bent into circular paths. As the electrons spiral around, they pass through cavities in the uh, magnetron, which cause them to release energy in the form of microwaves. These microwaves are then funneled into the cooking chamber of the microwave oven via a waveguide. The waveguide ensures that the microwaves are evenly distributed throughout the cavity of the oven so the food inside is exposed to consistent microwave energy. Once the microwaves are inside the cooking chamber, they begin to interact with the food. But what makes a microwave so effective at eating food. The key lies in how they're absorbed by molecules within the food, particularly water, but also fats and sugars to some extent. Water molecules are polar, meaning they have a slight positive charge on one side and a slight negative charge on the other. This molecular polarity is crucial how microwaves heat food. Microwaves are a form of electromagnetic radiation, and they consist of oscillating electric and magnetic fields. When microwaves pass through the food, the oscillating electric field causes the water molecules to constantly flip and reorient themselves in response to the changing this flipping and rotating of water molecules occurs billions of times per second, creating friction between the molecules. This friction at the molecular level is what generates heat. As the water molecules vibrate and collide with each other, the kinetic energy from their movement is converted into thermal energy, which raises the temperature of the don't actually cook from the inside out, as is commonly believed. Instead, they heat food from the outside in. The microwaves penetrate the outer layers of food first, exciting water molecules near the surface. Once the surface is heated, the heat then transfers inward through conduction, which is the same process that occurs when food is cooked using conventional methods. microwave ovens rely on the excitation of water molecules. Foods with a higher water content tend to cook more quickly in a microwave. For example, uh, soups, vegetables, and other water-rich foods absorb microwave energy more efficiently than drier foods. Uh, conversely, foods with very little water, like uh, crack 
because the limited water content can absorb the microwaves sufficiently, leading to uneven heating or overcooking. The efficiency of cooking in a microwave oven also depends on factors such as the duration of cooking and the power level used. Most microwave ovens allow users to adjust the power level, which controls the intensity of the microwaves being emitted. A common misconception is that lowering the power level reduces the microwave energy produced, but in reality, the magnetron still emits microwaves of full power when it's on. What changes is the duty cycle, the fraction of time that the magnetron is active. At a lower power setting, the magnetron will cycle on and off more frequently, uh, delivering energy in shorter bursts. This can be useful when cooking delicate foods that may overheat or become unevenly cooked at full power. Microwave cooking times are also much shorter than conventional cooking methods. This is because microwave ovens heat food directly by agitating water molecules, whereas conventional ovens rely on heat transfer through the air, which is much slower. must first be transferred to the outer surface of the food and then conducted inward. By contrast, microwaves can penetrate several centimeters into the food, allowing for more rapid energy transfer. However, this also explains why some foods can become unevenly heated in a microwave oven. If a food item is very thick, the outer layers may absorb most of the microwave energy while the center remains cool. This is why stirring or turning food during microwave cooking is often recommended, especially for denser items. The structure of the food also plays a role in how well it heats in a microwave. For example, the foods that are irregularly shaped may experience uneven heating because the microwaves may penetrate more deeply into thinner parts, while the thicker areas absorb more energy near the surface. The foods that are homogenous, such as uh, liquids or finely chopped ingredients, tend to heat more uniformly. Microwave ovens are incredibly versatile when it comes to browning or creating crisp textures. Because microwaves rely on molecular agitation rather than radiant heat, they don't produce the same Maillard reaction that occurs when food is exposed to high heat, such as in a conventional oven or on a stovetop. The Maillard reaction is responsible for the browning and complex flavor in grilled, roasted, or baked foods. While microwave ovens excel at quickly cooking and reheating food, they don't create the same crispy or browned exterior that many traditional cooking methods achieve. Another critical point to consider is the role of containers and materials used in a microwave oven. A certain materials such as metal reflect microwaves rather than allowing them to pass through. This is why metal containers or utensils should never be used in a microwave oven. If microwaves are reflected back into the magnetron, they can cause damage to the appliance. On the other hand, a microwave save glass, ceramic, and certain plastics allow microwaves to pass through, making them ideal for use in a microwave oven. The reason these materials work is they don't absorb microwave energy in the same way water molecules do, so they remain relatively cool even while the food inside them is heating up. It's also worth noting that microwave ovens are designed with safety mechanisms to ensure that microwaves don't escape the cooking chamber. The door of a microwave oven is equipped with a 
flash screen that prevents microwaves from leaking out while still allowing you to see inside. This mesh screen has holes that are significantly smaller than the wavelength of the microwaves, effectively uh, containing them within the oven while allowing visible light to pass through. Microwave ovens work by generating electromagnetic waves that excite water molecules within food, causing them to vibrate and generate heat through friction. The magnetron is the key component that produces these microwaves, and the oscillating electric fields they create interact with polar molecules, such as water, to produce thermal energy. decision. 